Hey folks, Nathan here from Star Wars Beyond the Films and the Star Wars Gaming Podcast Cloud City Casino, which you can find at StarWarsReport.com. Bring you a quick look here at the newest Age Rebellion source book, which has been released here in August of 2018. This is the long-awaited, or long-delayed, depending on how you look at it, Ciphers and Masks, a source book for spies for Age of Rebellion. Now, personally, I've found so far that this has some cool things if you're playing with a spy, but at the same time, it's not quite as generally applicable as some of the other source books we've gotten that are career specialized. So this will be one that you'll probably just want if you're playing a lot with spies because you won't see much that you'll use beyond that, more than likely, unless you're just into the new species they introduce. So we kick off here with our opening material, as we always do. And then chapter one, operating from the shadows, is going to be all of our new specializations and whatnot. So we have some specific new spy backgrounds, spy duties, in case you want to use those rather than the ones in the base game. We have three new species introduced. We have the Balasar, the Kubaz, and the Melito. Melito being one of the newer ones uh, introduced around the time of The Force Awakens. Then we have our new specializations. We have the new Courier, the new Interrogator, the new Sleeper Agent, and then a bevy of new talents to be used. Spy Motivations, in case you want to use those rather than some base ones. And our new Spy Signature Abilities, we have Counter Espionage and Unmatched Tradecraft. Okay, that then brings us into sort of our gear and equipment section, Tools of Tradecraft. Really kind of a creepy image there with our Chiss removing fake skin. Uh, we have, as you would expect, new weapons, new armor, nothing really surprising, although these are a little bit more towards sort of concealment, things like having the multi-tool hand, things like the escape kit built into the boot and that sort of thing. So it feels at least a little bit more specialized as you get into this second section, which is good. We have new attachments, new vehicles and starships, albeit not many, just a couple pages of that bringing us into all the play suggestions and new game mechanics in The Hidden War. We have information about how to integrate spies into a campaign. We've seen that already for other careers. We have some new computer skill uses that can be done, uh, new deception skill uses and so forth, uh, and so on, skullduggery. It's basically ways to sort of use existing things in new fashion. That then takes us along to counterintelligence, which is sort of a, a general sense of what the galaxy looks like at the time in terms of intelligence and counterintelligence operations. Then we start talking about concealing and disguising weapons. Like I said, this is a very specific type of source book that maybe doesn't have as much general applicability as some of the others. Slicing encounters, something that is a very specialized situation, but which a spy will make use of quite a bit probably. Then information about spy campaigns and some suggestions for setting up some base level campaigns, which then brings us to the spy rewards in case you wrap up such a campaign. So interesting stuff. Good if you're playing with spies, less generally applicable as, than some of the other source books. But if you are playing as a spy, especially one that has a slicing sort of tilt to it, then you probably are going to want to check out Ciphers and Masks. Just understand that you are getting something that is a little more specialized, so if you don't play with spies very often, you may want to look towards another source book.